All these beautiful white buildings, so timeless and majestic. I don't know, there were, there were hills and trees, and there was an ocean nearby. And there was this building. A church? I don't know. It was, it was big, it had all these windows, but... I don't know, if I saw it, I, I would be able to, to know that that was it, but... Mm -hmm. Well, that doesn't sound too tough. We'll just look for a big uh, white building with windows. It was beautiful. I mean, it was like a place that time hadn't touched. Well, it sounds like it, but, you know, we do have a wedding to plan. No, I know. I, and I don't mean any disrespect to your uncle, but maybe we should just pick a place. I have plenty of time to dream about it later. Yeah, you know, psychics should never make suggestions to people like you, because, I mean, what if he'd have told you you were going to meet a, some uh, tall, dark stranger? You know, you'd have probably be on the phone right now to Omar Sharif. I prefer short, dark strangers. What are you doing with me, pal? <laughs> Got You're short. <laughs> Don't start with that stuff. I'm. Oh, excuse me. No. I'm sorry. I'll just go and see. No, if we're decent, Mama. We're decent. Um. Good morning. Good morning, Cruz. I really feel that I should look for a hotel. It's not right for me to be taking Eden's uh, bedroom. No, really, we wouldn't have it any other way. Look, why don't I get presentable? And I'll come out and I'll fix everybody breakfast. No, 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 there's no time for breakfast. We all have an early appointment, all three of us. Run along and get dressed. Now, wait a second, Mama. People aren't supposed to make appointments for other people without their permission. And spoil the surprise. What surprise? Well, I'm sure it is the most beautiful church in all of California. It's not the mission, but it has that kind of a feeling, a, a feeling that I, I know both families will be happy with. Oh, Mama. No, just one look. One look. And I'm sure Eden wants to see it, too, don't you, dear? Well, I, I'd love to. Excuse me. And, um, where do you sleep? Oh, I sleep uh, on the roof, of course. I never thought that a son of mine would put me in this position. Here I am, pretending, for poor Eden's sake, to be as blind as the stones on that beach. Now, Mama, you don't have to pretend for Eden's sake, because Eden already knows that I didn't sleep on the roof. You think your father and I weren't in love? But we waited until we were married. Well, you were 17. You didn't have to wait very long. And besides, we already should be married. We, you know, since we are, we, uh, we married ourselves once a long time ago. Oh, I see. Very nice state you have here. Self-service gas, self-service banks, self-service everything. So, uh, what do you think? Well, it's a beautiful church. But? But, nothing. But is it the church of your dreams, Eden? No, and if you don't stop making fun of me, it's going to be the church of your last rite. I'm not, I swear, I'm just a little curious. Well, I had a dream, and I, I, I could see the place, and frankly, I don't know if we're ever going to find it, and I don't know if I want to get gray hairs trying to look for it. Agreed. So is this a, a suitable second choice? It's big enough. 
Yeah. yeah, but to me, the question is, why would we want to get married by a priest we don't know in a place we've never set foot in before? See, now, that's exactly what I've been thinking. I think we should talk to him. Father Aguilar will be right here. He just had to get his calendar. But he was almost certain that we could schedule the wedding for the first or second week in June. June? Yes, uh, the bands have to be posted, and Eden will have to sign up for religious instruction. Just a few weeks. Oh, oh, but isn't this grand and handsome? Huh? Yes, it's, it's very big. Listen, Mama... Eden, oh. tell me, dear, tell me what you think. I thought that at the end of every pew, we could have a bouquet of white and yellow spring flowers. June is still spring. Mm -hmm. Or roses, if you prefer. But we'll have to be sure that they complement your gown. Yeah, the gown. <laughs> the only problem is that June isn't the month, and this isn't the place we're going to be married. Why? What's wrong with it? Well, nothing is wrong with it. it... But what about what Eden thinks? She said she liked it, didn't you, well, dear? Well, Eden yes, doesn't I... want to hurt your feelings, and neither do I. But, but there are very few things in this life that a person gets to decide for him or herself. And... This is one of the things that we're going to decide for ourselves. Well, that's the most foolish idea I ever heard. How can two people plan a wedding who've never done it before? The bride and groom are supposed to stand on the sidelines and think happy thoughts. Marriage is exhausting enough without having to worry about whether there are toothpicks in the hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> All right, okay. Then. then we'll put you in charge of, uh, of toothpicks. Oh. I, I knew, I knew, I knew you'd see it then. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse us for just a second. Ah, uh, Mrs. Castillo, what is the happy couple? In Never Never Land, Father. Oh, thanks. Just a check. Great. Do you think your mother's going to even speak to us after today? Oh, yeah. By tomorrow, we'll be having the same conversation all over again. She's very resilient. Oh, I hated to see her packing her bag. Baby, if she wants to go to a hotel, let her be. Okay. You know your mother better than I do. Yeah, but I'll tell you. <laughs> Unfortunately. Hi, Scott. Excuse me, Cruz. Look, uh, do you think maybe we can get together sometime at your office? I need to talk to you about something. It's kind of urgent. Well, would now be okay? Yeah, well, I gotta get going anyway. I'm gonna drive, you know, who to the hotel and make sure she gets a really nice room. Okay, but don't start getting into it with the, about the wedding. There's no winning. I'm winning. Okay. Bye. 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 Yeah, Have care. a seat, man. This has to do with my father. Well, actually, it has to do with my uncle. Uh, but this can get a little touchy for you, because it looks like it might involve C.C. Capwell. Now, if you don't want to hear any more, you just tell me and I'll understand. No, no, I, uh, I think I'd better. Yeah, well, it's interesting, yeah. Well, I was a pretty hard sell myself. I just don't see the connection to Mr. C. I mean, uh, his wife has an affair, the guy disappears. Uh, how does that implicate him? I don't know. I, I don't know how my father got that in his head, but Timmons, it seems to be his main thrust. Yeah, well, that doesn't surprise me. Now, he told my father to stay out of this, and obviously he means what he's saying. But my father is not going to stay out of anything until he knows that there's somebody there as a watchdog for him, finding out what's going on. So, I came to you. Will you take the case? Well, I think, first I have to convince myself there's a, there's a case to take, Scott. And it sounds like the only one who knows for sure is our illustrious district attorney. 